Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. Today, in this video, we will learn about log aggregator design pattern for microservices. I'll explain you what is log aggregator design pattern all about, where to use it, what are the advantages of this design pattern. I will also give you real world example of this pattern. So stay tuned and keep watching Code One Digest. It is going to be very exciting and there is a lot to learn in this video. Friends, in the previous video, we discussed about Saga design pattern. Can you explain what is Saga design pattern all about? Provide your answer in the comment section of this video if you know the answer. If you have not seen that video, so please go and watch that video. The link is provided on your screen and also given in the description section of this video. So for more information, go and watch the previous video on Code One Digest channel on Saga design pattern. What you need to understand, Susan, is that everyone has an agenda, okay? Okay, friends. So here is the agenda of this video today. I'll give you introduction of log aggregator design pattern. Then I'll show you a real world example of log aggregator design pattern. Then I'll explain you where to use log aggregator design pattern. What are the use cases and scenarios where log aggregator design pattern can be useful? Then we'll understand the advantages of log aggregator design pattern. At the end, I'll summarize log aggregator design pattern. And I will also briefly touch about my next video on performance metrics design pattern. So stay tuned till end of this video. It is going to be very exciting and informative guys. Thank you. Friends, before we proceed in this video, I request you to subscribe this channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, I am creating a lot of quality videos on programming, coding concepts, design pattern and design principles cloud and container technologies, but I'm not getting subscribers. I request you to like, share and subscribe this channel so that I can grow our Code One Digest family. Thank you. All right, let's get started. Okay friends, so now let's start with the log aggregator design pattern. This is the first design pattern in observability design pattern category. Log aggregation is a mechanism for capturing, normalizing and consolidating the logs from different sources to a centralized platform. We collate all the logs for correlating and analyzing the data. This aggregated data then act as a single source of truth for the different use cases, including the troubleshooting of application for performance issue and errors. The aggregated logs are also helpful in, ad in identifying the infrastructure bottlenecks or finding the root cause of cyber attacks. In microservice architecture, the application consists of multiple services and services instances that are running on multiple machines. Each service instance generates information about what it is doing to a log file in a standardized format. Log aggregation is the process of collecting, standardizing, and consolidating log data from across an IT environment in order to facilitate a streamlined log analysis. Without log aggregation, developer would have to manually organize, prepare, and search through log data from numerous sources in order to extract useful information from it. Logs capture important information about system health that is crucial during the outage or any issue occurs. Oh wow, that is really, that's amazing. Let's understand log aggregator design pattern with an example. So let's understand the problem statement. Microservices generate and store logs individually within their isolated environments. This can make it difficult to audit or report on solution-wide log data that span multiple microservices. So what is the solution to this problem? Solution to this problem is a log aggregator mechanism. Log aggregator mechanism can be used to actively retrieve log data from individual microservices and write the collected log data into central log store. The log aggregator can further filter and consolidate log data prior to storage. The predefined data view pattern can also be applied to support more efficient log data reporting. A special aggregator component is utilized to connect to each microservice and read and collect its log in order to store them in a central repository. Log aggregator retrieves the individual log data and stores it in a log database from which administrator can access them. If you see the diagram, in this diagram, log aggregator A retrieves the individual log data and store it in a log database A. 
from which administrator can access it. This pattern can be applied in a conjunction with predefined data view pattern. Really? Really? Let's understand log aggregator pattern with another example. Let's understand the problem statement first. Microservice architecture structures an application as a set of loosely coupled microservices and each service can be developed independently in agile manner to enable continuous delivery and deployment. Requests often span multiple services. Each service instance writes some information in its log file in a standardized format. This log can be info, error, warning, or debug logs. How to analyze and troubleshoot application problem using these logs? So the solution is we can use a centralized logging service which aggregates the log from each service. Users should be able to search and analyze the log provided by this logging service. User should be able to configure alert when certain type of message appears in a log. So we also have to understand what is correlation ID here. When first microservice receives a call, it should generate a correlation ID, which then pass to downstream services. This correlation ID should be logged across all the microservices. It will help to track the information spanning multiple services. So in this diagram, microservice generates a log which are published using Kafka log appender, which then output the log message to Kafka cluster. Log stress ingests the message from Kafka, transform the message and publish to the Elasticsearch container. Now Kabina provides a visual interface to search, read or index logs from Elasticsearch container and provide required filters. Right? What the hell are you talking about? So now let's see some of the use cases of this design pattern. First use case is searching, filtering, and grouping the logs. Log aggregation enable team to use standardized facets in order to zero on a specific subset of activity, which streamlines the log analysis process. Second use case would be troubleshooting in response to production incident. Logs capture important information about system health that is crucial during outage or issues. An effective log aggregation strategy reduces manual work in this time sensitive situation so developer can identify root cause faster. Collaborate with others across the organization. Log aggregation break down organizational silos and improve visibility by enabling multiple teams to access the same data in a centralized platform. Fourth use case, it performs real-time monitoring. Once the logs have been aggregated, team can generate metrics from log attribute in order to visualize long-term trends and alert on log data. Wow. Okay friends, so now let's understand some of the advantages of this design pattern. So the first advantage is real-time analysis and monitoring. The security information and event management solution depends on the logs to identify security breaches, attack patterns and trends. Second advantage is application monitoring. Application performance management solutions use log to quickly find any functional or performance problem in an application, thereby reducing the mean time to resolve and increasing application availability. Third advantage is capacity planning. System log often indicates the resource saturation and the resulting infrastructure related bottlenecks. This makes it easy to mitigate such issues quickly and allow operation team to assess current infrastructure capacity utilization and plan for the future. AI Ops Some modern log management systems using sophisticated artificial intelligence technology and machine learning algorithms on log data to find event correlation, anomaly detection, and trend analysis. Uh, fifth advantage Audit and compliance. Logs are very useful for auditing purpose like database access record, server logins or successful or failed API request. Such records are often necessary for maintaining compliance with regulatory framework like PCI DSS or HIPA. Six advantage, mitigation security threats. Analyzing logs often help to identify securing threats such as DDoS, brute force attack, Network flow logs and firewall logs can also be used to block any rogue traffic. Advantage 7. Data visualization. Aggregator log can be used to create dashboard to display data visually. Advantage 8. Advanced analytics and visualization. Log aggregation also helps leverage 
advanced analytics operations such as data mining, free text search, complex regex query for comprehensive analysis, and dashboard builds out. This can be useful for network operation center or security operation center. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Good plan. Good talk. All right. Okay, friends. Now let me summarize what we learned in this video today. I gave you introduction of log aggregator design pattern. I also shown you the real world example of log aggregator design pattern if you remember. Then I also explained the use cases of log aggregator design pattern. Then I touched upon the benefit of log aggregator design pattern. So friends, let me know if you have already used this design pattern in your project or seen a scenario where this design pattern can be very useful. Please provide your answer in the comment section of this video. Wow. That's amazing. Friends, in the next video, I am going to cover about performance matrix design pattern. We will learn what is performance matrix design pattern. I will show you a real world example of performance matrix design pattern. We will understand the use cases of performance matrix design pattern. We will also understand the benefits of performance matrix design pattern. So stay tuned for the next video and keep watching Code One Digest. If you are new to the channel, so please do subscribe to our channel to grow our Code One Digest family. Thank you. I understood the assignment. Friends, if you like this video, so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos. Click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues. This is very useful information for students, beginners and software engineers. I am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents. So please help me growing the Code One Digest family. Please subscribe to Code One Digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos. Thank you.